What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Pristine. Welcome to another video. This video is entitled the Snapdragon 636 processor versus the Snapdragon 845 processor. Okay? Now, as we know, here in 2018, the latest and greatest, most powerful processor is the Snapdragon 845 processor, which is the processor that is housed in the OnePlus 6 here. Now, another popular Snapdragon po uh, processor that seems to be popping up all over the place in a lot of the mid-range devices is housed here in the Lenovo Z5. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people, I don't want to say that there's confusion, but a lot of people, they want to know if the Snapdragon 845 processor is the cream of the crop. A lot of people want to know how do other processors fare against it. And I think that a lot of times people, they get tricked into believing that they have to have the latest and the greatest processors in order for a phone to perform the way that they want it to perform. But I feel that I feel as though that is not true because there's a lot of phones that have processors that are lesser than the Snapdragon 845 that perform magnificently. And so a lot of it just has to do with, you know, the processor, you know, the gigs of RAM and just, you know, how the processor is optimized to handle different tasks that you're putting that phone through. Okay. So I hope this video is educational for a lot of you guys out there that, you know, may want the 845 processor or phone that has it in it just because you've been told that in order to have the type of performance that you're going to need, you need to have a phone that has the 845 processor in it. But ladies and gentlemen, think about it like this. They would not create all these different tiers of processors if that were the case. If all you needed was the most powerful processor, and, and of course, you're going to pay that premium price for the most powerful processor, why would they release multiple phones, whether it be budget there would be no such thing as 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 budget or mid range. It would just only be every phone that would come out would just be flagships. You know what I mean? And then of course, you know, you know when the new when the new processor was released and all the different phones and the ones from yesteryear or last year, I mean, those would get you know huge price reductions or whatnot, or they would just become completely obsolete and they would just fade to black because there would be so much focusness on what's current. All right. So what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is I've got all my apps on all my phones are all set up the exact same way. OK, now I've got both of these devices paired up to my Wi-Fi. <clears throat> OK, and so I'll open up some applications just to kind of do a speed test just to see how the, the 636 processor, which is here in the Lenovo Z5, fares against the Snapdragon 845, which is here in the OnePlus 6. All right. So here, let me. Um, let me do this one second. So I'm going to bring up my navigation bar here. Hold up one second. All right. So I got the navigation bar pulled up on each device. Okay. So I'm going to clear out everything so you guys can see there's nothing that's running in the background. So I don't want there to be no discrepancies. Oh, pristine, man. You know, you had apps running. And of course, if it's already running in the background and you tap it, then man, it's just going to pop up. Man, there ain't none of that. All right. So let's hit the Bible app. Okay, so the 845 took that one. Now ask yourself, was the 636, was it that far behind the 845? Was it far enough behind the 835 or the 845 in order for you to sit there and say that it's not a good performer or it's not going to open up in a speedy enough time frame in which you needed to open up? I mean, you're talking about, you're talking about seconds, people. All right, so look, let's close that out. Now let's go to Google. All right, so this is my Google Now. And you see that the Snapdragon 636 actually opened a little faster. So it's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because just because one device has the most powerful processor is not to say that 
a phone that has a lesser tier processor in it can't, you know, can't compete with it or open apps a little swifter. And, you know, a lot of things, a lot of times where this stuff really comes into play, some of these things you can't even really see a difference when it comes to performance as far as like zipping through apps and doing web browsing. A lot of this stuff is just like when you start doing like a lot of heavy duty stuff, gaming and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the 845 processor, you know, it's optimized for very good battery life and efficiency. But then also when you're doing a lot of like, you know, hardcore multitasking, but the 636 can, can handle all those things as well as well. You know, but just like say for like example, like if you're playing like one of the most graphically intense games, you're going to be able to play, play, play that game on both of these devices. But at some point, you may start to experience, you know, a little bit of choppiness, a little bit of a stutter here and there on the 636, probably before you would on the 845 processor. A lot of these things are not even noticeable. You can barely even tell the difference. All right. So here, let's see. What's another app that we can pop into? Okay, so let's go to Spotify. Okay, Spotify is a big app. I've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of music. Those of you that know me, you guys know that I'm a hardcore music fan. Have been for a very long time, ever since I was a small child. I've got hundreds of tapes hundreds of CDs, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, all that money that was spent on them tapes and CDs, now you got applications like Spotify and Apple Music and all that, that just has all that stuff in it. Just click on that, click on the touch of a little button and, and, and everything is in it, you know what I mean? So I've got huge music files in my Spotify. I'm a paid subscriber, you know what I mean? I got millions of songs and albums and playlists. So it takes a second. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the 636 just opened that, you know what I'm saying, a little bit faster than the 845 did. Now, it took a little, it took a little bit of time to load up all that data, right, all that information, but the 636 opened it faster than the 845 did. Okay, now let's, uh, let's, let's, keep it, let's keep it in the music genre. Let's go to SoundCloud. The 636 took that one again. You know, not a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's keep it going. Music, let's go to Pandora. Wow. Man, the, 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 six, the 636 did it, did it again. You know what I mean? I mean, so, hey, I mean, yo. And again, I mean, spec for spec, let's, let's go over the specs real quick. Snapdragon 845 processor, which is the latest and greatest processor, 6 gigs of RAM, okay? We're running Android 8.1, okay? Lenovo Z5 here, Snapdragon 636, also 6 gigs of RAM, also running Android 8.1 with the ZUI, uh, or, or ZU, uh, yeah, I think it's ZUI skin on top of Android 8.1. Um, and then, of course, on the OnePlus 6, you've got Oxygen OS on top of Android 8.1. I mean, so, man, you know. Okay, so let's go to SoundCloud real quick. Okay. Now, I haven't really messed with SoundCloud on my Lenovo Z5. I have on the OnePlus 6, which is why it says get started and all that stuff. It needs me to give it all the permissions to get into it. But again, the, the Z5 here took that one too. Okay. Um, all right, let's, let's get into it. Let's go to Amazon. Wow. Impressive, ladies and gentlemen. The 636 took that one again. And, you know, I, again, I mean, this, <laughs> they're, they're both connected to the same network. You, you, okay, you, you, saw, you saw me do that. Okay, now, let's, let's do this, because this is my T-Mobile SIM card. This is my AT&T SIM card. Now, let's do this. Let's turn Wi-Fi off, and let's just go strictly 
off of mobile data. Now, again, let's close all these apps out. Okay. Now, this is my T-Mobile app. The OnePlus 6 here has support, has support for all the U.S. bands. Okay. The Lenovo Z5 here, it does not have support for all the U.S. bands. But in my particular area in Seattle, Washington, in my area, it works best with AT&T, which I'm not able to get 4G. I can only get HSPA+, Plus, which is 3.5G. It's higher than 3G, but it's a little lesser than 4G. Now, let's see how that, how that fares against full 4G LTE connectivity. All right, now let's go to the Bible app. Boom. Okay, so, you know, the OnePlus 6 took that one as far as network connectivity. All right, now let's go to Google now. Okay, boom, and you can see they're the same thing, Asus Zenfone 5C review, a compelling alternative to the OnePlus 6. Asus Zenfone 5Z review, a compelling alternative to the OnePlus 6, which I would have to say it, it is a compelling alternative. Um, and, I, and I just hope that the 5Z has gotten a lot of the updates <laughs> and things that the 5 didn't have. You know what I'm saying? Um, but hey, nonetheless, and you guys can see, same information here. Okay, nothing different. Okay, let's go out of that. All right, now, let's pop back over here. Let's get into my shopping apps. Let's go to Best Buy. Okay, so you can see how the HSPA Plus is just a tad, tad bit behind the 4G, but not by much. Now, let's go to Spotify. Okay, so you see 4G, and this is also another good example as to, you know, the differences between data speeds, you know what I'm saying? Because the HSPA Plus from AT&T is not that far behind my T-Mobile app, which is running off a of full 4G LTE right now. All right, so let's go to SoundCloud. Okay, so the 4G opened up a little bit faster than the HSPA Plus, all right? So what else can we go into? Let's go to the score. Let's see what's going on in the world of sports. Okay, so you see, so that one, that one was a little bit more significant. You know, the a, the, the HSPA plus took a, a a a little bit longer, maybe maybe five or six seconds longer than the one plus six here, which is operating off a of full four G LTE. All right, so let's get out of that and let's go to Netflix real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So again, 4G LTE took that one. Not by much, but it but it but it took it. So uh, let's see, let's go to Zedge real quick. Okay. So again, 4G LTE. I, I was expecting for that to happen, you know, because the, the HSPA Plus, which is 3.5G, is a lesser tier than actual 4G LTE connectivity. But, and so I was expecting for that to happen. But when you talk about the Snapdragon 845 processor versus a processor that is a, left, a lesser tier than it, ladies and gentlemen, be mindful and do your homework and your research on how some of these lesser tier processors really perform because just because it's not the 845 processor it's not to say that you're not going to still get buttery smooth performance out of your device and that's one of the re the main reasons why they make these devices in different tiers because they're being offered at different price points and so phones are being made to uh, accommodate what people can pay for you know what I mean? If you can pay, if you can pay the premiums, then hey, there's phones out there for you. Or if you don't want to pay the premiums, you know, there's a lot of people out there that can buy every, any device that come out, even if it is a thousand dollars. But they don't want to because they know that hey, 
This, you know, there's phones that are way cheaper that are, that are going to do everything that they want and needed to do. You know, a lot of people don't have to have the latest and the greatest. So this video is for some of the people that just didn't quite understand how other processors fare up against the latest and the greatest. OK, I hope this video sheds some light on that for some of you people that have been kind of skeptical or reluctant to buy a phone because it didn't have the latest processor in it. I hope that this is a lesson learned that, hey, some of the lesser tier processors are still really, really good processors. You know what I mean? And a lot of it just has to do with the, etern the internal specs and how the specs that the phone houses are optimized to perform the way that you want it to, depending on what you're doing with your device. All right. So, again, we've got the OnePlus 6 here, Snapdragon 845 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage that cannot be expanded um, in any way, shape, or form. That's why you can buy this device in different variants. Um, the Lenovo Z5 here it, it has the Snapdragon 636 processor in it. It also comes with 64 gigs of storage, which you can expand up to 256 gigs through SD card expansion, Type-C port, both of them have Type-C. Of course, the OnePlus 6 has DAS charge, which I think is the fastest charging mechanism on the planet. Um, and the Lenovo Z5 here does have you know, Type-C. It supports Quick Charge 2.0, which is definitely not as fast as DAS charge on the OnePlus 6. But nonetheless, I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty snappy as far as charging and getting the job done, okay? Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. And definitely stay tuned because I've got so much more content to come. You don't want to miss out. Okay, make sure you hit that notification bell so that anytime Pristine Tech uploads a video, you can be the first to check out the content. And drop your thoughts in your comments and let me know what you think about the content in which you saw. All right? Much love to all of my subscribers. All the all that have been rocking with me for a while. Much love. I appreciate your love and support. Those of you that have just subscribed, I appreciate your subscription. Welcome to Pristine Mobile Tech. And I hope to continue to do my thing with get my hands on the latest devices and provide this information for you guys to help you guys make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase may be. That's what I do this all for. It's all, it's all just to help. All right? So I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys already know. Please stay safe. Get spiritually fit in 2018. Get God off in your life. Because of death would it creep around some unsuspecting corner. Where is your soul going to rest for eternity? Things that make you go, hmm. All right. Keep it pristine in all that you do. Catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.